Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, you find me today standing by uh, my front door uh, because of what I wanted to talk to you about very briefly was one of the most universal customs, traditions that we have at the Seda table and that is to actually go to the door to open it up for uh, Elijah the Prophet, for Eliyahu Hanavi. And I just wanted to explain very briefly what this is all about, why, why we do it, um, what's with opening the door, and, and also why we have, some of you may observe, a fifth cup on the table. We know we drink four cups of wine, we know that, but there's also a fifth cup that is poured for Elijah that sort of sits on the table, not really drunk, perhaps wasted, but why is it there? What does it represent? So first let's deal with the, the matter of going to the door. Why is there this custom of opening the front door uh, on, on Seda night? And it's done just after grace after meals, after we've sort of thank God for the food that we've eaten, and just before we're about to recite the uh, Hallel prayers, which are praises, praises to God. Why, why, uh, why do we do it then? So in terms of the front door, where do we see the, the door? What's the significance of the door? the front door in the uh, Passover story. Well, just before the 10th plague, God tells the Jews to put blood on the doorpost uh, of, of their houses, the blood of a, a lamb, a sheep, and to paint it on their doorpost. And the question is, why, why do they need to do that? Surely God knows who's Jewish and who's not Jewish. Why, why does he need a sign to pass over those houses? And the answer given is because uh, it's, it's to show the Jews' faith and trust in, in God in Hashem. Uh, and that's a very powerful thing, something that we constantly need to be reminded of. You know, interesting, last week, many people took to their, their front doors, went outside and just on their doorstep, gave a massive round of applause, right? Who are they doing that to? They're doing it to the NHS staff, the people who are continuously keeping people healthy, whether they're unfortunately suffering from uh, the coronavirus or whether they're generally ill in, in other unfortunate things as well but many people took to their doorposts to give them a, a huge round of applause and a cheer to show that yes we appreciate their efforts but also that we have faith and we have trust in these people that they can make people better um, if we do what we should be doing um, and they can do their jobs properly they can uh, get people better uh, quickly and speedily so we see this idea of the front door being a place where we can show trust we can show faith uh, and that's one of the reasons we, we go to our front door, that on Pesach, just like the Jews showed their faith in, in God just before the 10th plague, we go to our front doors to show that that faith and trust is, is very much still there, even in these quite difficult, troubling times that we, we currently live in. With regard to the cup on the table, uh, the fifth cup, well, we know that, we may know, that the four cups represent four expressions of redemption that is listed in the, in the Torah, that God will, will take take you out of slavery, he will rescue them, he will redeem them, and he will take them to be his people. What some people may not know is that in the very next verse, there's a fifth, there's a fifth additional expression, that I will bring you to this land, future tense. And many see that as an allusion to the future redemption. The redemption that Elijah, Eliyahu himself, will announce when Mashiach is going to come, and that all Jews, so is believed, will return once again to, to Israel. So that is why we have this fifth cup for this fifth expression of uh, redemption. That is why it's also done, this prayer by the front door is also done just after grace, after months, before we're about to say Hallel, which is all about, at least this section of Hallel is all about the future redemption. Uh, and that's also why we don't drink this cup. It sort of just sits there undrunk because this redemption hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen at some point in the future but it just hasn't happened yet. So we can't really enjoy the benefits of it like we can enjoy the benefits of the Egyptian uh, redemption. That's happened already. We can experience that and we can benefit from that. But in terms of the uh, one to come, it's not happened yet. We pray that it comes speedily, but it hasn't happened yet. So that's why it sort of just sits there. So I hope that's explained a little bit to you um, what this uh, practice, this universal practice of opening the front door for Elijah is all about. All that's left for me to say is that I wish you all uh, uh, happy and healthy uh, Pesach or wherever you are and I uh, hope to catch up with you all very very soon. Take care.